I'd like to explain what we mean by forex market. From the word forex, foreign exchange, you understand? So basically, forex is the act of, of buying and selling peers, commodities, currencies, you understand? And we have so many things we trade, you understand? We have, you know, everybody say, I'm a trader, I'm a trader, I'm a trader. But at the end of the day, you later find out that people trade different things, you know? We have those that trade the currency peers. We have those that are based on crypto. We have those that are actually based on synthetic indices, which is more or less like the fat trap market. It's not the real market for is a me is a is a mimic of a real market controlled by one man compared to others, which we have the big boys trading it. But synthetic indices is more or less like a fat trap market. You understand, not the real market, but the mimic of the real market. And most people go for this due to the high volatility and everything. So now, what are the major? Basically, will be based on currency and static indices too. Well, if that doesn't mean if you are if you are if you want to go into three crypto, you shouldn't actually join this class because at the end of everything, everything works together. Because we'll be telling you on how to read charts and how to read charts. I think that's the that's the uh, only thing that gives you trading because all this chart of a thing are giving us graphical representation of what is happening in the market. That is giving us what is the information happening in the market with charts. You understand? So when you understand these charts normally, then it shouldn't be hard for you to interpret the market. Just it's more or less like you were sent to school. You understand? Before you can decide that you want to be a nurse or you want to go for it, you want to be your profession to be a nurse or doctor. Or anything you have to know the basics which is learning the language english language let's say the official language english language you understand so when you understand english language you'll be able to understand what will be taught you understand probably when you want to be a doctor you know you'll be complicated too with english yeah so you need to understand that english before you say you want to dive in into other parts so same thing i'll be able to hear you have to understand everything about technical analysis charts reading before you want to cross to maybe synthetic indices or currency peers, you understand. So there are differences between these synthetic indices, currency peer, and crypto. Now let's start with crypto. Crypto, in ways, have been affected by fundamental and technical. More of technical, though, you understand. That is the fundamental. Actually, is a uh, is not that because the fundamental is uncompared to currency peers you know for currency peers the fundamental the dates the event dates are already been the all the events that happen in a year are already out you understand but that of crypto it's more or less like a sudden something something you're not expecting so that i'm saying is more of technical aspect because we have been based on the fundamental you won't know when the fundamental wants to be out so based on the technical aspect just let us think like that but that of synthetic indices which I said was very, very volatile. It's just based on technical analysis, no need for fundamental analysis. And what I mean by all this fundamental analysis, I'm talking about the economic impact or events that might affect the particular markets you are trading. Do you understand? For instance, now let's use um, South Africa as an example when Nelson Mandela was still alive. Imagine the good work Nelson Mandela was doing, and when we suddenly add the deaths of Nelson Mandela. It shook the company, you know. Because, uh, sorry, I said the company. It shook the the country. The country will actually go in some little crisis. You understand, which can actually cause like a drown drop, a drop in the economy. You understand, and when there's a drop in the economy, that means other country will be doing more better than it at that particular time. Be it a very short period of time, we don't care. But at that very moment, the the country was in a state of downfall. You understand so i'm not talking about that alone we have so many factors that can actually affect the economy like the employment rates the, the what else so many things employment rates claims police anything earthquake any economic factor can actually affect so that's that about foreign uh, forex markets the fundamental and that's that about the crypto but synthetic nothing like fundamental is actually affecting it it's just you and your technical analysis and your psychology when it comes to 
trading. So now we'll talk about the major currency and crosses, the major currency pairs and crosses. Now the major things will be uh, currencies are the Canadian dollar, the United States dollar. Uh, what else? Japanese yen. What else? Euro US. Uh, sorry, Euro Euro. You understand? So I will now say the major currency pairs. Now, okay, now without wasting much of our time, we have two or we have three types of pairs. We have the major, the minor, and the exotic. You understand? I will make things very, very, very clear now. Now, when we're talking about the major pairs, the major pairs are because obviously the United States are like the world country. Let me say the world country, like the leading country. Let me just say like that. So now they are putting them above. Now, the United States, for instance, any country or any currency playing against the USD, you understand, are the major. It means the USD card, USJPY, Euro USD, NSZ USD, they are major. You understand, as long as they are playing with USD, do you understand? And they are very, 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 like, slightly very, very cheap. They are the best to trade, not really that volatile and stuff like that. But when it comes to the minor, the minor are the ones that are the, are the currencies that they pay without the USD. You understand? And for instance, that's like odd NSD. Uh, that's if you are buying against uh, New Zealand dollar. If you are buying uh, Euro, JPY, do you understand what I'm saying? That they don't involve uh, USD. And they are a little bit expensive than the words. Than the major currencies. Ah. So, though our little equity of $1,000 can still carry them, yeah, even 500 not let me go that far, even 100 can even still carry it. But when it comes to exotic, these are very, very, very expensive, like very, very expensive pairs. You understand that? I personally say, I don't, I don't think I know the name because if I'm saying the name sometimes, it's not something I can actually put in my head because at the end of the day, I'm not concerned, I'm not into it. Very, very exotic pairs that only the big guys that act big equity. These ones are really ready. They are the ones facing the financial market. These are people that trade the exotic pairs. So now let's talk about the base and quotes. Because I was mentioning Euro USD, USD Euro, pairing two country currencies together. Now, let me share you my screen. I have done that long time ago, bro. Let me share my screen. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Oh. Let's go for three other slides. Let's go for a major currency, Euro USD. So I was talking about the type of things you can actually trade in the financial market now. You see the Forex, more or less like currency pairs, stock indices, commodities, cryptocurrencies, that is the crypto. And the derivative is more like the synthetic indices I was talking about then, and I said it only involves your technical analysis. But we are not concerned about the forex now, so let's go to forex. Today is Friday, so so have, why is not not coming up? Euro, Euro is. Okay. Euro USD. So Euro USD is one of an example of. So now, these are our Euro USD guys. So we're expecting this to go up, 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 up. Sorry, right, we are not here yet. But by the special grace of God. Will be here and will go beyond here. This is Dr. Soap.
So okay. Now you can see Euro USD. So now the first one. Okay. You see, we are already having two two currency pairs here. The first one is Euro. Second one is USD. So yeah, the first one is Euro. Second one is the what? The USD. Do you get that? Now the first one. We always be the base currency, understand? And what do I mean by it's going to be the base cur uh, currency is that anything, any decision you want to make, have to be based on this. Do you understand? Now, so for instance, now I was talking about the fundamental analysis before. If anything should happen in United States, which caused the downfall in the United States, that is maybe, God forbid. Billion an accident, and they declare that. Oh, okay, don't let me use the word billion. Before it get me arrested, let me use that. Okay, maybe the the country suffered in a in a in a virus, yeah, just like COVID nineteen. Probably be more deadly than that, and it requires every one of them to stay indoors, no employment. You understand everything is sucking up for them. You know, normally economically, there there will be a decrease in their in their country. You understand, which means the dollar index will be falling at that particular time. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. So now, if it's if the currency is for if the index is falling that time, you know, just like we have the United States dollar index, we have the euro index too. You understand? We have the Nigerian index, we have the South Africa index. You understand? So the thing is, we study this euro index, we study this USD index. You understand? But the fact that we are majorly, we are taking major. You understand? This is very simple. Let me tell you why we are making USD the head of everything. Is because we are trading major because we don't really have that equity and we want to trade the the, the, the the less expensive but we can make money kind of peers you understand so we have to go with the ones that deal with usd and because usd is common to all the currency in major so why not so we, we don't like why not because we're already doing it we are focusing most time on the united states dollar index to predict what will happen against the other index be it when USD is the base or is the quotes, you understand? Even though it's going to be USD JPY, at least let us know what's happening in USD. Now, let me explain this now. If there's a fall down in the United States dollar index, which is calling causing the economic factor to come down. So now, what we happen here is just telling us that dollar is dropping, right? So if dollar is dropping, what will happen to the base? The base will be rising. You understand so yes, now if we are if we are going now to, we are going to be dealing with uh let me make the large base now we're going to be dealing with a peer like usd jpy like this peer here we're going to be dealing with this peer here usd jpy and let us say the same thing is still happening which is the dollar index is falling you understand? It means that it means that if the following index is falling and the JPY will be rising. You understand? Yeah. If this is falling, it means this will be what JPY will be, will be going up. Now, let me explain this thing graphically now. So, graphically, now, if this is the chart, let's focus on the euro USD now. We're making use of this as an example where the USD is the code and where the USD is what is the base. Now, in this particular aspect, that we checked out the news, we'll still go about the fundamental analysis in the next chapter now. After this, on and how to analyze the fundamental analysis. No issues, very, very, very simple. But we have to take what step at a time to understand these things now and. Under your views, we're talking about, we still go back, before we go back to the second listing, we'd like us to talk about some little terminologies you can come across in this forest industry. Sorry, in forex trading. Now, but before then, let's continue what we are doing here now. So don't forget we said there's actually a drop, a fall, a bad, bad factor happening in the United States, which is causing the index of United States dollar to come down. So now, graphically, now we already know that 
fundamentally, right? So now, the, the, this E will be the base and E is being the code. Don't forget, any action we want to make now has to be on the E You understand? But we already know what is happening to the code, that the code is suffering. So instead of, since the code is suffering, we have to buy Euro USD, which means in that kind of case, the price of the market graphically will be going like this in a, in a bluish manner. That is, will be buying, it will be going up. Euro USD will be going up. Assuming it was supposed to be USD Euro, you know, if it's going to be USD Euro, you know, that means USD will be the base. Then the base will always be what we are looking for, like, will be the major thing that's affecting that particular pair. You understand? So if it was supposed to be Euro USD, it should be down. It should be the opposite. It's going to be Euro USD. It should be the opposite. The market will be going very slow. But for now that it is Euro USD and the US index is suffering, it will be, it will be, it will be, it will be, if you go what if you be bluish, you understand now. Yes, sir. You understand. So now let's go to the let's go to the US JPY. Now, now still using the same factor that the United States dollar index is suffering. Now, so in this kind of case, if the United States dollar is suffering, what will be the graph characterization of US JPY? Will it be bluish or bearish? Having at the back of the mind now that USD JPY, USD there is the base. The market will be bluish or bearish. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Ask the question. Will the market be US in the market of US JPY? Will it be bullish or bearish when the United States Dollar index is falling? I'm not sure how it does it affect Euro Euro, sir. Huh? You said Euro JPY. No, 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 no. I said USD JPY. If we're to have USD JPY now, if you are to analyze USD JPY, knowing yes. that knowing that the United States dollar is suffering and the United States dollar index is falling, now what will be the chart of USD JPY? Will it be in a bluish move, which is like buying or dropping? It will be bearish, sir. It will be bearish. Yeah, exactly. It will be bearish, which is it's be dropping. So everybody watching this video now, I don't know what the bearish move moves means, which is to be dropping. Because the USD is the one controlling that particular pair because it's the piece. Well, you know when it was the Euro USD, Euro USD was the piece. So we are interpreting, we are going against, because now we are, since the USD is, is selling, so definitely other people will be rising it. We will be rising against it. Not only USD. At that time, if we have, if we have a uh, water up here, if we have all USD, same thing. Just as long as, I'm coming, as long as USD is the quotes, you understand? So that's that about that. So now, uh, let's talk to, I was talking about uh, uh, it, some terminologies can actually come across in the forex industry. Talking about pips, pips is more or less like a number. You understand? Like the, the distance between your entry position and your closing position. You understand? Now, that should be hard. If this price of if you buy if you sell the market at this particular price here, which is 1.08503, huh? And you were planning to take your TP around there that you want to close the market, you are satisfied with the profit around this particular price, 1.0729. The number of pips is just this price minus this price. The total amount you get there is the pips. Do you understand? It's as simple as that. And when it comes to spread, now I will explain what the spread is all about. Now, when it comes to spread, actually, spread is more or less like uh, the distance between the bid price and ask price. I know you're asking yourself a question now that 
What's the bid price? What is the ask price? Where are these coming from? But well, please calm down. Let me explain. Now, that will also introduce us to what we call brokerage firm and why are they in the forex industry. Now, let me start with that. Now, the brokerage firm are, are lifesavers because we retail traders, we don't have that large capital to enter the market. It takes millions of naira to, or let me just say, yeah, millions, millions of, let's say naira, millions of dollars or thousands of dollars, you understand, to face the real financial markets. But because we, with low equity of 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 equity, we don't have that much capital to face this financial market. You know how much is in financial markets? Trillions of dollars. We don't have that much to face the financial market. So that's where these brokerage people come in. You understand? Now, if you have a client A, client B, client C to Z, they come in, client A, client to Z, fund their accounts in these brokerage people. And this enables the brokers to combine all of our money, you understand, and face the financial market. Because by then, the markets, the money will be already in millions, and you understand? So that's where the brokerage people come in. You understand? Now, they are not helping us. They are there for themselves to make money. So how are they making money from us like that? Is by the ask price and bid price, which is more or less like rates. Now, if the market is actually giving you the price at okay, 1.08588, they might decide that no, then they will be giving you the price at 1.0859. Maybe we just one peep difference. You understand? But the distance between that and that is called the spread. Which is the broker's commission now i would have liked to show you when you are using your mt5 you will notice that oh two lines are always moving most times they are closer to each other you understand this might be red these are the move one might be red and the other will now be green very close to each very very close to each other And some people don't set it too, but most times this is how it looks like. Can you see? You'll be moving together, line in line. I'm just trying to tell you that this is the ask price. This is the ask price. The normal price the market is selling is like the normal financial market price. But this is the price at which our brokers are giving it to you. Are this price and ask price like the same with other brokers? Because we have a lot of brokers. No. And this makes you, and the reason, the reason making this. The answer to be no is actually like one thing you have to find out when choosing a broker because you don't want to look at the look for you don't want to use the broker that will be giving you like big spread like imagine now the broker telling you that if you buy at this particular point here it's going to give you the price yeah that's way too much now nah? because by the time you even want to enter your sell here and your tp here it might not even touch your tp because at the end of the day you will not be making money you understand so these are what people looks in before choosing broker but we'll, I will, I will, I, will, I can recommend, or not like I can, recommend, I will recommend you guys to use the reef. I recommend you guys to use the reef using the link of Umpo Malefane. Because now, because now they're using the reef, actually, the reef offer one of the best spreads that is tight spread. That's why you hear brokers when you log into a broker and they'll just say, there's nothing like people telling you zero spread. First of all, let's see that about that. Not like zero spread. Those, those, all this is zero spread. It's just like, let me see, um, marketing strategy for you to use them. Because how are you telling that brokers are not any? No. It might be a very, very tight spread, but zero spread, no. But at the end of the day, you might, you might, graphically, you might be seeing that they are very, very close to each other like this. For you, place your, when you place your order, you see that your order will be around there. When you place your order now, yeah, it will be around there. That's the real spread. You understand? But they are saying what you want them to see. You are seeing what they want you to see. You understand? So these are things you actually just test out very well. For instance, now if you if you if you look if you look if you use if you see swap free, the way swap free in Geriva making their money is that this ask price and bid price might be closer, might be close to each other like this. When you place your order, it will be around here, which is not supposed to be, it should be around the ask price. In which they are giving us and they are showing us but to be around there the manipulative ways for brokers no but still the is the best no cap about that so talking about the payout the deposit 
Sipak. So now, without wasting much of our time, now what this will lead us to rules of central banks and economy indicator. Yeah, we have, I will, I will explain everything I have to explain. At the same time, I'll be telling you what I know and what I've come across, because that's why you are here, so I can teach you all the experience I've passed through, which means you don't need to go through that experience again. It's going to be a long journey. Now, we have economy indicators, and one of the indicators we use are RSI 14, um, Boliga bands. I'm talking about the ones that actually believe are okay, the moving average, you understand? But at the same time, I you know that these indicators, the forex, forex trading is more as like predicting what will happen in the future. But these indicators are lagging indicators. You can check anywhere. Tested and trusted. These indicators are lagging indicators. What I mean by lagging indicators? You can't predict, you can't really, let me use the word really, you can't really predict the markets using these indicators because they are the outcome of what's happening in the markets now. You understand? They are following what's happening in the markets. Because when the price of the market here is going up, you see the indicator trying to raise its mount up. And when it's falling, the indicator will try to raise its mount down. So that's not that. We need something that we will understand. We will eventually know that, ah, horoscopically, this is what's going to happen. Do you understand? But still, you can use them for other confirmations. But you basing all your 100% trust on, indi on these indicators, I would advise that. You can use them as side indicators. And one of the ones you can be using now is the RSI. Now, I will talk about the RSI now. It's very actually, it's very, very good. But the main reason why it's called the resistance index. I always make sure you use the period 14. Yeah, this is the period 14, whereby you set your 30 to over, uh, over sold, and you set your 70 to overbought, and your 50 to CP or weight. Now, let me see if I can set that now. You can use your, what's it called? Your, um, You can use your 25 to do this. It's available on the phone too. I want to see if I can set it. I don't think I can. Let me take it off. You understand? Oh, uh, and you can use your Boliga band. Let's check for Boliga, Boliga band. So this bully bag and are more or less like telling you now. See, it's more or less like working like this thing too. Bully band will be telling you that when the price of the market is the tip of this place, as we said. And when you see this video, you should take your TP. And this is actually bully bag is actually good when you are trading boom and crash. Now let's go to the boom and crash to see. Because you'll be trading ticks and spiders. But they, at the end of everything run, you don't base everything on the bully band. You base everything on your own psychological reading about the old charts so you see why we really have to know the chart before even using these indicators because all these indicators and kind of things are the last thing you want to use when it's come to trading you have to understand the psychological parts of trading and understanding what the market is telling you do you understand about that so now let's just switch a little bit to woman crash so this this boom and crash is part of the static index that I was saying fully totally requires the technical analysis. Boom one thousand, please. Or oh, let's just see five hundred. Here is Boliga bands. Now can you see when it touch this so it's spike? The tick, 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 tick. Always pipe. Now, if you can, you can use as not as much as any indicators together. RSI. Now, let's use it with the RSI 14. Now, at this junction, now. Huh? At this junction, now, let's look for where this thing touched the, the. Let's observe when this thing were touching the up and down. Now, it touched the, the this thing here, showing a reversal candlestick. Now let's go to the RSI. Maybe it was around the boat. Then you see the 7030, which means that the price, if the price is on this 7030, we'll take actions. But when it's touching this thing here, then it wasn't touching it in the RSI yet. 
So we wouldn't have taken it. That would have gone. And let me start from here. So I'm starting the ground here. But when I tell the RSI, it was oversold already. So I already knew any time from now it should spike. I will talk about another very, very strong indicator. For this indicator, you can only spot it again with your head. Now, I will explain all these things. But at the end, at the long run, at the long run, when we are done in explaining how you can understand this market, you know that these people are just trying to mago mago the way. Because you understand. So it's better for you to just understand this thing yourself and you can pick out models yourself. Not models that were established by someone else and probably is already casted. Because when model when model cast, you understand market makers, which is are the big boys, go against that models. You understand, believing that people are still using it, and obviously people are still using it. You understand? So that's that about that. That doesn't mean you won't make your money, though, but trust me, they will liquidate you first before it goes to your direction. So now, when it comes to the over 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 soldier, you started spiking. So would have taken it here or oh, so that i didn't touch the over over bots around this place we won't take the markets now huh? would have closed that so let's look around that one that was already in the markets actually year two it's around over over what's it called normally we should be expecting that it should spike should spike or see what happened that's why all this i don't trust all these things like i said at the long run don't base everything or the trust on this. We ran over so dear. Though I was already touching the peak. Yeah. So that means we're supposed to sell. We'll see what happened. Maybe it so, was respecting previous high. No, using the using the indicator, those are the things you just look at. That I said, you have to understand the markets normally. Now see what's actually happening here is now is now this. Now, we're expecting it to, we're supposed to sell around this point. Do it show the reverse account stick. Can you see? That's why I said the last thing you want to look at is the reverse account stick. This is a morning star. Bearish, doji, sorry, bluish, bluish, doji, bearish. Hmm? This is another this thing now. This thing is coming down. It came down in the RSI, side, but you see, it didn't come down yet. So now, do you know what actually happened here now? Divergence. Divergence that is if the market is going up like this, and instead of the market to be going up in the RSI, it's now going down, like it's going in opposite direction. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. Now it's called divergence, trying to tell you that hey, anything can happen at this particular so you're not even anything. The the the, the direction wants to change. That's just it. That. The direction wants to change so that is very very strong i recommend this for anybody i see i use my hand and this my chest if you are looking for a good indicator use your rsi and spot out divergence to know when the price of the market want to retrace want to want to change direction and if, if you know if you know yeah it's actually hard for you to spot this thing out Register on Trading View. When you register or buy an account on Trading View, Trading View will tell you numbers of indicators. We show you, Trading Views offer like varieties of indicators, and divergence is one that they will not even want to play with. You understand? So they offer divergence indicators too, but at the same time, no, don't base everything on divergence. It's just like something you said, okay, compared to this one. So now, you see, you see after the divergence, you see the market started coming down. Eh? Now let's yes. put another divergence. To show you how the advantage really works. So, divergence. It's not something you spot us very, very, very fast like that. We want to spot the divergence of, of that shit. I was sorry using the far language. So, that's only the advantage you can spot. Well, I hope you understand what I mean by divergence. Too. I, 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 I do, I do, I do. At at some point, it goes um contrary to the market. I think McD does the same thing. If I'm not mistaken, 
Okay, now see, I think I. You think it's lagging indicators that does that or something? All indicators are lagging indicators. All indicators are lagging indicators. They are giving you like, how I say this? Uh, okay, for instance, now let me explain this. See this one at the middle is a moving average. And now they will tell you that if you are using a moving average and the price of the market should break below this. Let me, let me zoom up. I know this, but I would like to share with you. The, normally, I know I can actually teach you these things like the way all normal people do. But the love gone, I will still come back and tell you what is the real deal. So why not start with the real deal? It might be a little bit hard. It's, kind of, it's not even hard because I'll make sure I'll break it down to simpler forms and won't be using any complicated languages because when it comes to trading, trust me, everyone wants to make it complicated, but it's not. Using the kind of grammar. Imagine people saying mitigation, retest, um, RTO. Please um, retest. Okay, I'm listening. Please check your WhatsApp. Is the one right? Huh? The one, this one is the one, the RSI relatively strength index. Index, yes. Okay. I was learning, I was learning on it. And yeah, never, never, never. When you, when you start learning on uh, on indicators, whew, alone, trust me, it's not good. Learn the market first. Yeah. Gain the, uh, the market first, then come back to indicators for confirmation of what you understand. Yes. When they eat together, you understand an indicator, banger, the market will suffer. Now, this, if I don't want to use the moving average, you understand? And I want to use my normal understanding of the market. What I would do here is just typically just draw a trend line. At the long run, now, without this indicator, without this uh, moving average, it will tell you that when the price of a market breaks the 50 MEA of the moving average, it means that it wants to work, it wants to start selling. Is that what they do? Now, let me bust them up again. Now, you now sell at this particular point because it already broke the the, the yellow moving average. Now, mm -hmm. you are planning on taking your feet around this place because that's where the point of the polygon band is. Nah? Mm -hmm. Now, you put your TP around here. Around here. For you that you've already understood the markets, you already know that there are imbalances in the market structure from year to year, which can make the markets to fall to this particular point before you tip it. Do you not know, do you not, do you not know, do you not know what this, this will, will do? You make the market start selling, eh? And it's got this point, and it is still, it didn't stop, it's continue selling. This market is not starts start teaching its course, the marks. It now starts bending like this. Start bending like this, bending like this, bending like this. That is the price of the market will be pushing it, bending like this, bending like this. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not be like this. Not like how it is before. Not be like this. Part of markets will not become like this. Go, 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 go. But now this your TP. That's why the can you see it's just lagging indicators. Don't worry, we'll come back to check this. But that's what I say. Just they are lagging indicators. That is, they play in the direction of where the market is going to. So why don't I try to understand where the market is going to? Mm, they, they, mm, they only reach that point after the market has reached the point. So they're not really helping. You said? I'm saying that. They only reach that point after the market has already reached the point. So it's not like they are helping you to give you direction. Exactly. They're slow. That's why they are called lagging. They lag. Exactly. Thank you for thank you for that. So now let's go back to our Euro USD. And um, I'm off the the okay. So where were we? So now let's talk about the rules of central banks. We'll talk about the economic indicator now. Now, thanks to God about that. Now, another says that where two elephants are fighting, what so far is it? The grass. I want you to understand something. Now, is the truth because the moment you start to know the truth, the moment you 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 keep on trading wasn't designed. Purposely for us to make money. 
Trading is more about liquidity. It's to collect money. You know that at the back of your mind. And we have the big guys, the market maker that does this. Now, since I already know this truth, what should I do? First rule is never go against them. Second rule is know when they are in the market. All this will be taught, but more of it in the advanced class. You understand? And more of it in the advanced class in such a way that, trust me, I won't want to tell you this sickness for free. Even though I'm making money from it, I won't want to tell you the sickness for free. Because every model costs. And when you pay, you pay attention. Those who pay, pay attention. Financial freedom is not free at all. You understand? So that will, I will introduce my ebook, Think Like Them. Sorry, what's it called? What's your book called again? Trade and Think what? Like Them. Trade yeah, and Think and Like Them. Like. So now, when by that, the big guys in the markets, they don't even know we exist. They know we exist too, but normally, normally, because when two elephants come to fight, they know they are going to suffer the grass. Majorly, their focus is with the, within themselves, just to see who is going to win. You understand? They know they, the grass will suffer. You understand? But their major is they want to fight against themselves. So these people, they fight against themselves. These big guys, we have Elon Musk, Apple, Facebook, all these people, all these people from me are saying they are into financial market, they are into stock trading. You understand? Now imagine banks, even banks, you know, there's sometimes you want to you want to withdraw your money, they will tell you they, they are out of network. It's a lie. They have used your money to go and trade. Your money is really in the financial markets. No, no, no. Like is it like the profit or is it loss? And they can't take it out. Like, ah, we are down. The network, the network is not down. Which network is basically to reply that network is down? No network is down. They are using your money for financial market, they are trading with your money. What thing about them is they don't stay long in the market. Five to ten minutes of testing, they are done. They're out of the market with your money. That's why you find out that the bank is giving like one percent of your money monthly. Imagine when they are making like hundred percent of it monthly, they're not giving one percent. That's why you have to make your money to work for you. Never skip your money in the bank. Let your money work for you. You understand? You have savings as a coin. With the times that the coin will grow, life is all about risk. You risk. Those who risk make it. You understand? Life is all about what is all about risk. You understand? Normally, we already know that the air we are breathing is even hazardous. You understand? So, we're even taking the risk to breathe in. You understand? But if we don't breathe in, you will still die eventually. So, just take the risk. So, that's that about that. So, the big guys, we have the banks, firms, they trade against themselves. And when we do the traders, don't forget, come tries to come in. We'll be like Suya. So yeah, like a roasted meat that they will eat off the circus. Boom. You understand? So the real thing now is we already know that it's not designed for us to make money normally, but we can make faster and lots of money from it. That's the, that's the secret. It's not designed to make money, but the secret is that you can make faster of money from it. Do you understand? And our plan is to us to make money from it, even though we know it's not designed for us to make money from it. We have to find our way to make money from it. So now, that's that about that. So now this will lead us to what else? That, those are the Aru. You trade again yourself. Now, break, 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 break. Now, this will lead us to the fundamental analysis. I call it fundamental analysis. Don't forget what we say. Or, or no, what this technical analysis, all technical analysis aspects. I'm doing technical analysis tomorrow. Day two. So now let's talk about the economic uh, the economic indicators. Understand we'll talk about it the other time. This one of it. This are one of it. The moving average and stuff. But I don't want us to waste our time there. We might later come back on it when it comes to live trading. You understand? But for now, let's understand the basic concept of the market. Hmm? Because now I'm imparting so much knowledge about indicators to you now. The memory would have been full before I get to the real main deal. You understand? Eh? So now let's go to um we we'll talk about understanding economic indicator. So the impact of monetary policy decision. Now, I was saying the other time the fundamental analysis is more concerned about the currency pace. You understand? That's the real market, and that's what we want to base on that. Huh? So now the first thing you want to do is, and I was I said the other time too, I said all the events that wants to happen. 
throughout this year it's already planned out and we have websites we have we have platforms that they give us all these news we have the baby peeps forexfactory.com investing.com so many even some brokerage friends always put up this uh uh this economic calendar the first economic calendar but the one i will actually use those that is the one i'll actually um uh, recommend no i'm going to recommend it eh? uh i'll recommend fx book because gandaloni app at the same time i will recommend, I will recommend investing.com so let's use investing.com investing.com there are some news that you don't see in any other platform but when you come to investing.com you're just like ah all oh, this is happening now but why is this thing moving fast that's because the platform you're using is not better with it when investing.com brings out super news huh? so now i will compare now just to calm down we have a lot of time we'll take our time very very well now let's go to the words economic calendar over here and don't forget you said we want to be dealing with the major players which is euro we'll be dealing with euro that is the dollar index japanese yen what else maybe australian dollar so we, we can try and filter out these things just to know the news because it will bring tons of news the whole country news now can you see today is yeah yeah yesterday today now Now, now we're screen. Let me try and zoom in. Now, because now I will explain how to understand this. Because uh, uh, okay, we're talking about how to analyze this economical calendar in heads. You understand? With the impact of the monetary policy decisions, we will take them together. Do you understand? Are you with me? Yes, sir. So now. As you can see now, we have the Australian dollar news, the China CNY news, South Africa news. Ah, wow. So you are trading against South Africa. Ah, wow, wow, wow. South Africa is a green way. Green. I'll make things very, very easy for you now. Very, very. You don't need to know what the news is all about. Nobody said you to know the news about what the news is all about. You don't need to start reading. Hey, what is the news? Is good news or bad news? I will explain so that you can do it. Judging by the color. Judging by the words. Judging by the color. Now, when it comes to judging by the color, um, I know I'm not as I recommending person the score, but they are bad when it comes to judging. Understand? We can be using the two together just to know when the news will happen. So now that will lead us towards my FX book. We can just use FX book actually. FX book. You know about the technical aspects. Hmm? Now let us. Can you see my chat? My screen, sorry. Now we're we'll going to yes. the economic calendar and everything. Well, we'll be talking about can you speak that will be tomorrow eh? oh that will be tomorrow okay ah that's today that yes be... news was to be, sir. Hey, that's i think today. was it CPI or something, or CPI. No, yeah, CPI is um one of the events, huh? It's one of the events. I was just shocked that we still be talking about technical analysis today. Ah, I think we'll do that tomorrow. Okay. 
So stop at the economy fundamental. Oh wait. We talk about the national institution. Okay, we'll talk about we we'll stop at the section, we'll stop at section section two today. Then we'll do section three and four tomorrow. Five or six the next day, seven and eight the next day. So you can make the class even one, two. You can make your class for this. Then. What do you think? Three or few days. Okay, you or think you uh, time might not permit us, ne? Huh? You think time might not be enough, ne? Actually, it's going to be enough. Two days, okay. Because after this one, I'm saying now. After this one, I'm saying now. You just take a break, and you come back and start again. It's it's going to be okay. No worry, it's going to be okay. Okay. okay, so now let's talk about we're talking about the fundamental aspects now. Now, the fundamental aspects, I like I said before, don't misunderstand, is that the market is being affected by the economic factor of what is happening in that country. So now I said, so now if you check this thing now, you can see okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to filter out. The currency you are dealing with just to know what you are doing so now you can come to this filter place now this place when you click on it if you tell you filter by currency or country so let's go with currency we need jpy i don't trade cny i don't trade chf chf canadia we trade all we trade gbd we trade so now another thing is we have different kind of news. There are some news or events. There are three. We have the high impact, medium impact, low impact, and no impact. Now, let me explain. Now, when you look at this, for instance, I look at investing.com. Investing.com will always distinguish the kind of news that's happening with their stars. Now, you look at these stars now. You see, we have two stars, three stars, two stars. Mm -hmm. Now, then, we only have low impact. Medium impact and high impact. Most times we have most times we should concentrate on just the medium and high impact. You understand? The medium, yeah. the medium doesn't really affect the market, but it shows it affects the market, but does not move like broom that compared to the high impact. NFP is under the high impact. CPI is under the high impact. NFP is under the high impact. You understand? So now, for instance, now this offering a one star is what. A low impact won't really, really affect the financial markets. Now, this is a word a medium impact, it will show the impact. But the one that is going to be three, ah, you think they are blowing the candlestick up or down in any way, it's also going. You see that this one is drawing, but somebody is pushing it, it's been moving without messing. And those are the kind of news that liquidates people seconds away from the markets because most people don't understand this thing and they gamble. A gamble with fundamental, which is bad, very, very, very bad. But don't worry, you're in the right place. We'll teach you on how. Don't worry, we are, we are dealing with USD. Eh? So the secret is just that if you want to trade any pair, go and analyze the United States dollar index on its own. On its own. The United States dollar on its own. On its own. Then any direction you think, then that okay, well, maybe this. USD is going to buy, is going to sell. Expect it as the outcome of the news. That's the tip. I'll give you, even there's no news, anything you want to, when you want to trade, first understand and go and analyze the United States dollar index on its own. Come back and thank me. When you come back, you come back and press money. What's the money time? When you are, you don't press money, that means that person's an increase. Because this is a secret. Nobody will tell you this thing. It's hard before you see your mentor eh, telling you secrets. But me, I will tell you the secret because I don't have any issue with you. My beef, my grudges against the markets, not with you. So I need us to fight as a team and scatter the markets. Let the markets break on their news. Okay. Um. 
So that's that about the investment loss curve. So let's go back to the curve, the FX. Allow. So now, so since we already know that we'll be dealing with the high and medium impact, so let us take it here that, hey, please, just high and medium impact, and you can tell them to notify you within 30 minutes on your phone. So apply. So we're applying this now. So now, can you see it has filtered the useful away from the ones that are not useful? Now, easily I can see this old Thursday news, see the Friday. The one that will happen tomorrow is already out. Nothing is added, nothing is changing. The one that will open next week, when they're already out. You understand? So now, you can see this time left, tick, 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 tick. All this has happened April 11, 13, 13. Don't worry. When you log in, it will synchronize your time zone and to be using your time zone. Nothing like maybe you want to be converting time. Any country, yeah, just use it. It will synchronize your time zone itself. You understand? Yes, sir. Now, there are no more okay news like that. News that are okay. Because when you see a speech, when it's a speech, when you see speech, they are just speech. That is someone will come out to give the speech. Yes, and um, this very calling speech, I think it happens monthly. Maybe um the second month, second week of the month, it happens monthly. You understand? And this speech, you can't really, you know, speech are very, very long. So easily you can't really know the outcome compared to the other ones here that exactly when is that time you will see the results and the market will react immediately within seconds. So now let's talk about now the so now as you can see the impact, the dates, yeah, time left, tick tick tick, the currencies, euro, euro, USD, USD, euro, USD. Now the the impact medium i i i i i i i more emphasis on the i because i destroyed someone's in the market nah? but now and again i will teach you the tradable fundamentals and non-tradable fundamentals again yeah the tradable and not tradable yes so for instance and and i'll teach you again sorry on how to trade the tradable and non tradable we always find our way that's why we're in the market that's why you have to call us mentors because we we sacrifice our time so that you don't have to i will come back and tell you oh this is the feedback of what we got you understand that's why um when known in south africa as umpo malafe peculiar <laughs> so now because i always take my time for you not to take your time and I'll tell you my results. Now, if you see this now, you see the impact. You have the medium, the I, 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 and medium, I, I. Most people don't even trade technicals. There's um, technical analysis. They just want to focus on the fundamental. And it's sweet. It's very, very, very sweet. You just have your, you don't even need to, you don't even need to analyze anything. You have your news here like this. Keep on refreshing. Go to your MD4. When the news comes and tell you that USD bad news, just sell immediately. Immediately, just sell. And when it's good, just buy. You understand? So now, prior to what it's cost initially, now we will not be using it here again. Now, say that everything works together end to end. Eh? So now let's come to for instance, what has actually happened here is something I will not imply you guys to come in for now because you guys are just starting. Because we are having this, we are having like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, like five events, same time of three or four that are of our impact. And one medium impact. You know why it's not tradable? I will explain to you why it's not tradable. For now, for you, for your knowledge now, for this knowledge you have now, it's not tradable in the sense that this thing you can't gamble. Are you listening? When you gamble, you lose your money. Now imagine this is good, bad, good, bad news. Why do you think the market will be moving? It will move fast yeah. like this. Mm. You won't even have time to buy or sell. 
If you buy, it takes you out. If you sell, it takes you out. And that doesn't mean you didn't buy and sell. That's why it's not tradable. When you're finding tradable fundamentals, make sure probably two events are happen at the same time or one event at the same time. Easily, it's going to be easy like that. When it is two events, there are probably that the two events might be good. I probably that the two events might one might be good, one might be bad. And the probably that two, the two will be bad. You understand? Compared to one will be bad, one will be good, one will be bad, one will be bad, one will be bad. Ah, no, 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 no. Do you understand? No, we'll still come back to how you can trade that, but that will be in the ebook for those that bought the ebook. No caps. But these are very, very expensive ideas. Like, but still, we'll give you what you want. You earn. You earn, but you want to dive in very well. Come get your ebook. Because it's actually going to be moving from 50 dollars now to 100. It's 50 now because it's the first edition. The second edition, so many videos will be attached to it. And it towards make it 100. Even 200 is a financial. Well, let me cap. Let's continue. So now, without wasting our time, let's just uh, let us let us assume we really have one impact at that period of time, which is this USD. Let's forget that this were not here. You understand? Can you see now this for example? This one I have tomorrow. I have two type news happening at the same time. It's tradable. These are that two too. Ah, yes, this was actually like. At the same time, see the number of GBD that is happening. I said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not really good. But most times, when these things happen, you understand me? When these things happen, most times, that the news are happening at the same time. Allow that time to pass. Like five minutes when it has passed. Then you now spot for your demand or your supply zone before you buy. Because any movement wants to move at that time. So I've actually like moved. Because my goal is very, very volatile. So it will move in that direction very, very fast. So when it's complete, the rubbish will do. It's not obvious, it's complete that movement. You now enter in your own decision. Maybe good to buy, you're going to sell. We'll still come back, but that will be on technical aspect that will make you decide because the news has, the fundamental has actually happened already. That's passed, so use your technical to enter. But now, no qualms. So now, let's match what I was saying. So let us let us assume that this hasn't happened. This one, two, three, four, we're not supposed to happen. Let us say now. Another thing again about the apart from the impact is we have the previous, the actual, and the forecast. But this we are using as consensus, but most people use forecast. The previous is let me ask what the previous means. The previous is it has happened. Don't forget, most of these things that are actually happening now, the Apple monthly, all these events, the Apple monthly, you understand? So the previous is what happened last month. So definitely, this United States, uh, this thing, what happened last month at mm -hmm. of 20. 24, but this is April now of March. It was a bad news. You don't need to understand what's happening. What's this? Red? It's bad. No, I already told you that I will explain what you read. You don't need to understand what the news is all about. You don't need it. Imagine you started to read that and close it, then you see what's happening in this news. That would have gone. Once matters have moved, it would have been left behind. And so, when once it does red, you know that it's a bad news. And when the United States is a bad news, what will happen? It means that USD will fall. Other pair will rise against it. Do you understand? So what yes, we are discussing sir. over now, I'm still waiting for this just to show that this <laughs> can you see now normally I'm not going to supposed to switch, but you know this is this was supposed to be our TP. Can you see the yes. band forward close to yes. the so yes lagging, lagging indicators can you please put so now, one time frame i want to see something which time frame one minute five minutes one one or five you see another thing now in okay. one minute can you see that question uh i see I see. I don't mind if I choose five dollars. I'm picking my entry of sale around there. So it's still helping. You know, I was saying it helps too. You have taken your TP around there before the spike. So many things you understand. So it's actually if you are trading six, it's advisable to use it. Huh? Very, very. Yeah. So that was what I was telling you the other day. 
all these spike detectors, you understand? The psychology aspect of it was taken out from on Bolligan, Bolligan bands. You understand? It's something that when you go to MT5, you can actually put your boots. You understand? Without the usefulness of food. You just insert that would be another class talking about algo trading. But for now, let's concentrate on why we are here. Ah, I was supposed to add someone to this class. I'm sorry. Which is offline. Okay. So let's go back to where we are coming from. So let's go to the hero we are talking about here. Forex. Hero Um. I'll, I'll I'll ask to be excused very soon, sir. I have, I have a meeting in church at five. At five? Yes. And it's before your time. Oh. It is now for really? my time. The meeting is five my time. No, no the time right now is three fifty-seven. Your time. Yes, the meeting is in one hour, sir. Oh, so you have to get ready and go. Please, sir. Uh, so let me just explain. I think we are we are we are done with the section of. Uh, we are done already done with the section. Just let me explain very well. So now, I was talking about the previous conscientious and actual. The previous is telling that what happened the last time it was a bad news. We are trying to use it to predict what this news might going to be. Now, the forecast is what they assume the news will be. You understand okay. uh, just to just to interject this like you're saying now that the much news was bad news right yes if you go back and check can we check can we check from january can we check january feb i just want to see so just out of interest i want to see some yeah you can see how can we do that um last week this week we have to pick a date ourselves in March, January, ne? yes, 2024. Please, yeah, I just want to see. Yes, what was the name of the news again? I forgot. January, we traded um CPI. And and I don't know, I for, for, for God's so good. All the news that happened around that January 11 were bad news. So obviously, bad news. yes. Okay, and then Feb. February. CPI and yeah, this famous famous ones. The Friday and the Wednesday. Ash, I will take this thing. February. Mm -hmm. February was, I'm coming, I think it's always second week. Yeah, it is. I'm not checking the news. What is the word the news? I'm like, let's go back. Yeah. So, but one important thing, let me don't wait us waste our time. I won't lie to you. 
So let us know the time. What we should focus on. I'll tell you this we should focus on here. Yeah. I'll tell you what you focus on here. Now, today, be Monday, February. No, 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 no. Come on, today. I'm not going to be next week. Hello, good afternoon. I'm New Year. Oh, good afternoon. We are happy to have you here. So let me try and check. So we are talking about the economic factor in financial markets and how to trade it carefully. So this is the last thing we're we'll talking about today. Oh, let me refresh this thing. I don't know how to. I think it's the next row. Oh, it's the next row. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you. Lovely. Oh, now I'm with this. Let me explain. Let's use. Imagine when you want to trade like CPI or NFT. And this thing is just doing your passion now. Let's use investing as well. So today, let's fit that in the invest investing as well. So let's fit that out. I want to deal with all that mess price. Move China, move France, Daniel. Ah, NSD, you can put NSD. Ah, he can't about. Ah, United States, Switzerland, North Korea, Russia, South Africa, Spain, and then Kingdom. Your file of music. Let us apply. Oh, importance. Just let's start with that. Mm -hmm. Let's put that out. Because we are more interested in the medium and high impact music. So, uh, ah, you're not giving us a reaction. Now we have the news, we have the Euro USD and yeah, yeah, yeah. So now this is 12. It's this is 1504. Okay, now all these are support, but this part as well will happen in the next 10 minutes. Actually, all the next news are speech, 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 speech. Takes a long time for the can finish those speech, but the one we're interested in are the ones that have uh, anything that have this audio voice in front is called speech, the speech type of news. It always takes time. It takes time before you can actually know the results. And you might not even see the results at the long run. So even though it is high or it is a uh, medium, but those ones that don't have it and have high impact and medium impact is a major concern here. And we are actually basically using the one that happened in 30 which the continued jobless claim as an example. And you can see we're talking about a lot a lot of news happen around that particular period of time so it's a to me it's very very bad for you to trade those kind of news because we have the tradable fundamental news and not tradable fundamental news now imagine even without you having I mean, I mean the knowledge of trading and yeah and there are four news that are of high impact that are supposed to happen at the same time everything cannot be good everything cannot be bad it means that two can be good two can be bad one can be good one can be bad one can be bad, and at that particular period of time, everything is applied in front of time. The market will be moving. So if you buy, 
you have to be market. If you sell, you have to be market. So there are proper ways to attain this actually, but it's still in more than like the advanced left levels because at that time you're spotting the actual place the price of the market can be, and whereby you'll be setting pending orders at this area. So when the price of the market reaches, it speaks, it speaks everything. But you trying to make decision before the news. Well done. That money is too small for the market to take. They will, they will, they will, they will yeah. Fund more, fund more, fund more. They will use the money. You understand? But there are ways around this. You understand? <laughs> we are grass in this stage of a thing. We don't want, we, are, we can't even be predicting for the market. Let's just take its course. We we'll just know when a particular person is, is in. And what I mean by the particular person is like a particular market maker is in, then we'll just flow with them. That's the best thing. Don't force the markets. We don't own the markets. So that's just it. But these are that this this medium is actually in the advanced level. But for now, when you have like two news that are happening at the same time or one, they are still tradable. Very, very tradable. So when we are having like three and two, actually, luckily the three can be good. Because the one that happened was it uh when did we trade the CPI, Madam Peculiar? I think that was day before yesterday. Abby, when is CPI happening? Before yesterday, the two news. Sorry, I think they were. It, it was two news. It was two news, and they were both good at the same time. But normally, one can be bad, one can be good. One can be good, but luckily, because maybe because we analyzed the United States dollar index, thanks to someone that told us that gave us that idea too. Learning in trading is very wide. You can you have to ask for more of this, even though you are reading. Ask from people. For instance, the person that told me this thing, just a crypto trader. No a forex trader. But when I saw it, I saw the impact. So now, for example, now let's just assume now, now okay, like all this news didn't happen at the same time. Just because you have more focus on, on trading more now. So now. This is of high impact, sorry, medium impact, just two stars. One of three is three stars, uh, one of three is high impact, which is actually affect the market, will affect the market mightily. Now, continue jobless claim. I said the other time, you don't need to understand the kind of event that is happening. Maybe it's the bad news or a good news. So you have to know that it's going to be a bad news. But like, you don't need to like understand what that event is all about. You understand? Money is trying to read, because they will give you the, you can read, you can read what is happening, you can read what the news is all about. You can read this. But imagine you reading, I don't even understand. Continue job claims measure the number of unemployment individuals who qualify for benefits under employment insurance. A higher than expected reading should be taken as negative very short. And I'm really saying I don't even I don't even want to understand this. What I want to know is I want to make money. Now, let me tell you how you can know if it's going to be good news or bad news. Now, it will it will depend on the color. And it's not like a good news and the bad news. Actually, I'll find it's good and bad news so that you guys can actually get it. Now, we have the actual forecast and previous, like I explained. The previous is what happened the last time, the last time that news happened. It was a good news. Because it happened last time, it was a good news. Doesn't mean this, this month, this month is going to be a good news. Then, till now, a lot has happened. Many people have died. Many people have lost their job. You understand? Many people have gained business, many people have been rich, many people have already gone broke. The economy has rose, it has fall. You understand? So you can't you can't say you want to predict. But well, luckily they, they predict, but they will tell you that it's 50 50. And now the forecast is the prediction that okay, this is the possible aspect of what is actually happening, is going to happen this time around. Do you understand? But now, luckily, the actual is the is the real is the real outcome of the events and most time the fact that this news happened 12 30 you're supposed to get the result at 12 30. you might not get as 12 30 sharp you might get as 12 30 in 30 seconds before because you know then they have to fetch the data too before they upload it on their database too yeah and if you are good at watching news too i don't know where you can watch the news too. but if you check boomerang uh, you will not be able to do that so now because People, some people are not, they don't even want to move close to technical analysis. All they eat is fundamental and they are doing very, very fine. Like very, very fine. So now, you know, it's going to be a good news or bad news. 
as long as okay, oh, how did I know that it was a good news? The previous one is what it was showing green. Green means a bluish move. That it was green everywhere. Blue. US dollar should shine. That it's white. But this one, yeah, I don't want blue. Now, uh, now red, now nah color red, which means there was there was the first it was like worse than expected. And luckily, let me just say, don't let me even don't let me go to that area. But there yeah, are some people that don't use color. Some friends don't, don't use color, but that's why I'm recommending the FX group and the investing that they use color. Understand? Now it's showing red, showing that there will be a drop in United States dollar index. But now so what will happen now against the trading euro USD? Let's forget that the other ones are happening now. The trading euro USD now. Do you know what I will tell you? Eh? It's not that, that price will it buy or will it sell? Is euro USD and according to that is another period of time. Let me look around twelve thirty. So let's check for twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. Okay, this is twelve thirty. Ah, I'm not supposed to. Yet. Will it buy or will it sell? You know, USD. <laughs> now, as you can see, 1230 of that time. Where is this thing? 1230 of that time, April 11, 2024. United States dollar. Was a bad news, so which means euro USD. I will be buying or we are going to be selling. But I'm peculiar. Mm. Madam Moinda, I will be buying or we are going to be selling. Buying. We'll be buying. You say we'll be buying. Yes. Yeah, we'll be buying because the euro is the base, the US is the yeah. code. So any decision we want to make has to be based on euro. It was euro, it was really that drop. So if the US drop, the euro rewards, euro will rise. So can you see this? The candlestick 1230. Everything where boom, 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 boom. TP. You have chopped the one, you have gone. All this little noise that make it to come down. All this been, I was talking about, you understand? Well, as a result of other news that happened around that time, which was an example like this, that was positive. So for it to be positive, that means the euro to us to drop. You understand? So that's it. So the PPI was red. That was why the same data, like the number of red now is plenty than the number of green. That's another thing I use. That's why the data went up finally to that point. As if it was red, green, green. Market is actually after moving like this. After moving, I'm stopping it. It's actually like come down, come down very well. I broke this previous slow. Understand? That's why I say this thing when there are plenty of that news after around a particular period of time, like four. You don't need to trade it because they are risky. You don't want to gamble. People say trading is gambling, but it's not gambling. You know what you are doing. You know what I'm trying to say. So let's take another example. So now, if we are going to be dealing with USDJPY now, with that same thing that happened in 1230, are we going to be selling or we're going to be buying? Selling. Will be selling now. Let's check what happened here. Yes, JPY. Most times the market have moved before these people bring out the results. Eh? So there are two things you do. Most times you wait for the private markets to, to pull down a little bit because the market will not go down, will not go up or go down at the instance. It will go up very well, but at the same time, it will still be coming down. Looking for nice support that will push it up again. So you might just wait for it to, to come down to buy at a discounted price before you join the buy or the sell. Never enter the market at the premium level. And what I mean by premium level is that now 
if you know that the market is going to sell, you are now entering here immediately. Bam. After so many pressure of selling, you are buying at the premium price. What you have to do is next time you wait for the market to work, at least which we are already sure that we sell no. You make sure that the market was make sure the market three what you trade small because what really makes an up or uh, up trend or down trend movements are rallies violation of higher highs and higher lows so definitely it has to make a lower eye so why not try and wait for the new set of lower eye then to enter the market but the markets never move like this bam so you might see that it moves like this but when you switch to a lower time frame you see they move in rallies like this which is like creation of higher sorry downtrend creation of lower eye and lower low we'll still get to all those parts we've not got to the technical aspect we're just talking about the fundamental aspects now so let me move close this effort so now we already got the aspect of um the, the usjpy so i'd like us to just go back and experience you can just log into the fbs.com open our charts check the news check the result of the news you understand how did they play along? What happened? Oh, this and this and this and that. And for the record, the class is recorded. So for those that missed the when we started the class, so I will drop the link. Thank you, sir. The class later. Thank you very much. And God bless you. Any any question? The question that you said, said yes. The question that I have. That, um, I wanted to ask what time frame do you use in taking your trades? Like, what time frame now? When it comes to yes. time frames, we are still on the fundamental aspects, you don't need time frame for the fundamental aspects. Okay, fundamental is why does not do not send anybody if you are using daily, use one minute, it wants to destroy your life, destroy your life in one second. So, you want to know. You move to a lower time frame of five minutes they are dealing with fundamental do you understand because the result is not the result of it's not the result of your technical analysis again do you understand yeah I do. People, people will tell you that fundamental is just going with the role of technical that's it's true when it's 50 50 it's like 80 20 80 30 and 30 percent is a lot of percent do you understand i personally in my experience i've seen it rally with my technical and i've seen it going against my technical am i lying yeah. this can go against my technical so those people are telling that uh, it's, it goes alongside with what you what you have analyzed the technical ah it's a lie if you want to happen and you are scared just leave the market that's why if, if you're going to reach some plus from the tell you that best time to trade forex best time not trade forex when the news wants to happen don't enter the market it's because they don't want to allow but if you want one like okay this market because actually this can actually fetch you money those people are actually buying cars so many things like that they are saying they make billions in a gif it is news cpi nfp eh by the same time i've seen somebody blown five thousand usd within five minutes it was even motivating it was in a live session it was like everybody can you see now we are buying we are buying god is going to buy god is going to buy I never even knew the guy was the uh, Yoba or sorry, Nigeria base. Because it's that sense. God is going to buy. We are entering new positions, new positions. I myself, I was in the life. I was like, wow, this guy is doing well. And this guy has balls. The next thing, the thing went against him. I was like, ah, Chineke. <laughs> <laughs> that video was very, 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 very funny. You see how very, very, very funny. No matter, I was not supposed to laugh because it was like a sad news, but the unexpected happened and Chineke. <laughs> You shut that chin again. Understand? So don't think you understand what you are. You can never know what is going to come in fundamental. Don't be prepared for the worst. There are ways you can ways you can find your ways around it. Fine. We'll talk about that when we take to, when we get to technical aspects because it takes technical aspects to let us know how we can find our ways around it. Putting some little things to know where there will be a change in directions and stuff like that. So time frame doesn't really matter when it comes to fundamental analysis. But when it comes to technical analysis and which we are still going here tomorrow or next tomorrow i don't know we have to start from the higher time frame we have to understand from the bigger picture what is happening do you understand 
That's what I said was happening in the bigger picture. Now, when you analyze the bigger picture and it's telling you that you have to sell, put at the back of your mind that any decision you want to make, you want to sell because you don't want to go against the trend. But what you'll be seeing in the bigger picture is strength. I don't want to go against the trend. So it does not require you to just enter the market, bang, once analyze, and you expect that immediately you analyze what to eat. You might actually analyze the market and it will not, it will only eat your entry in the evening. It's still satisfying that you enter the market in that exact morning, just trying to make it to last and you later end up going your account. Understand? Whereas you can wait till that evening. You can even try and if you want you need something, you want to buy something normally, but you don't have the money. Go and get with go and get it they say. Calm them down that what do level evening time. I'll pay you guys your money, don't worry. Then you trying to buy something in the in the in the in the afternoon and you want to enter the market and you lost your capital and you won't be able to buy anything, you won't be able to take with it even without the hope that money is coming from anywhere. You understand? So safe trade, wait for your entry, don't wait. We'll still get to that. You understand? If that's another problem, I don't know what's called problem, but that's another section of its own. So that's why we are just picking out the simpler ones now. Simple, 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 simple ones now. But when we get to the technical aspects, trust me, I will convince you because the market is convincing itself. But I'll make you understand. It's not like I will convince you intentionally, but it will convince you. But I'll make you understand. So that's that about that. Any other question? Someone else asked a question. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, Mara Moisa, do you have any other question? Mara Moisa. I don't. No, no, no. I don't. I don't. I don't, sir. Ah, sir. Wow. Mara Peculia. So, okay. I will, I will, I will get recorded um, this thing from Mara Peculia. And I will send the link so that we can watch and we can rewatch and understand. Okay. Thank you very much, guys, for your time. Later.